guys, so today I'm going to do my October favourites and wow, this um, month has just gone by so quickly and Halloween has just been here and moving into November, soon is my birthday and I'm just so excited about that. But I do think that October has been a really lovely month. I've also been to London this month and yeah, it's just been a lot of good things going on in October, so I'm almost sad that it's over. It's like weird. But yeah, October is over officially, and therefore it's time for my October favourites. I've got both random stuff, beauty, skincare, hair care. Let's go. I want to turn it around and start out with all of my random things that I've really loved. And firstly I want to talk about one specific TV show that I've been obsessed with, like seriously. I've watched the entire first season, um, I've watched it on Netflix, and it is called Rain. And it is about the um, French court and the, kind of like the relationship between the French prince um, called Francis and the Scottish um, Queen Mary and their relationship and just a lot of like romantic drama and yeah just things in the old days and it's just so much for me I love this kind of TV shows and it's just drawn me in so much I love it oh and I can't really I can't wait to see the second season because it was kind of like when the first season ended it was kind of like oh no what's gonna happen so I'm not gonna ruin any of the story line for you guys but Seriously, go watch it. If you're into like those kind of like old um, romantic drama things, then this is definitely the like amazing TV show for you. And also just the music. Seriously, that's one thing that I really love. They kind of like combine like really like newer music into an old scene. So it's kind of like you can hear, I think it was like it's Sharon or something like that, some of his music in there. And, yeah, just a lot of like really like new and cool music that's kind of like been put into this old setting. It's just so cool and I love everything about that TV show. Seriously, my new fave, or oh, one of my new faves. The next thing is something really random and I was like, should I really show this? But it has been a favorite of mine. Um, it is a hand soap. I know, I know, what the F. But um, it is from DKS and it is an um, organic argan oil hand soap and it's supposed to give you really soft hands and it comes with a 500 milliliter bottle. It is so good, seriously, my hands, they are so nice and so moisturized, and it says here, liquid hand soap with organic argan oil prevents your hands from drying. It also contains glycerin, which makes your skin more elastic. I like it, I think it's a really good hand soap, and it's also without any parabens, so it's good, and it smells incredible. It smells like argan oil, and I love that scent. Last random thing, which is really not that random when talking about beauty, is a Bobbi Brown um, brush cleaning spray. And um, I've always used only one brush cleaner, and that is from MAC. I'm using it on the brushes that I've got down at my um, work at Bobbi Brown. It works so, so well for just doing a quick cleaning of your brushes. So whenever I want to do like a deep cleaning thing um, with my brushes, I'm still going to use my MAC one. But this one comes in a spray form, so you just spray it onto your brush and then you just swirl around the brush and some kitchen towel or something like that. And then all of the like product goes off. It's just so quick and so easy and that's why I bought it. I think it's amazing and it really cleanses the brushes so nicely. Moving on to the face and skincare. Um, I love the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment Mask. Um, I bought this one on a sale and I love it. I never thought that I was going to like it because it's kind of like an exfoliator and I'm not really that much into exfoliators. And it's got kind of like these, kind of like, what do you call it, leftovers from like tea leaves and stuff like that. But it really works so, so well because it is not too harsh on the skin, it is actually really gentle and you just leave it on your entire face for like 10 minutes and then you rinse it off and then your skin just looks so much more fresh and radiant and glowy and this is the reason it's called Glam Glow because it is really just so good for the skin. I only use it like one time a week because else it's going to be too harsh for my skin. But I have had some trouble with some breakouts because it's been that time of the month. Um, <laughs> So this one has been good at like keeping down the redness and also just you know like huge 
cysts or pimples or stuff like that. So huge thumbs up for this one. And if you haven't tried it yet, definitely do. It is so worth the money and the hype as well. Next is a product from a Danish um, skincare brand. It's called Menex and it's the Protective Hydermias um, Day Cream. It says it's a cream for dehydrated and sensitive skin and it's Bioscience Cosmetic Skin Science. And um, I was so fortunate to get this one sent and try it out and honestly it is so amazing. My skin is so soft and moisturized. It is a day cream and it is for like sensitive skin so it's really gentle. And um, the cream is kind of like, I can try to show you the actual texture. It's kind of like a thick texture actually when you consider that it's supposed to be a day cream. But it really just sinks into the skin so quickly. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this cream is actually like the smell. It smells a bit like granny's old perfume which I'm not really that fond of. But luckily the smell doesn't last on your skin. It kind of like goes away after like two minutes or something like that. It just gives a lot of moisture and hydration to my skin and I can definitely tell a difference. Especially now that we're moving into winter time. My skin often goes a bit more dry but I haven't had any like dry patches or stuff like that thanks to this one. The next product could also have been shown in my like random section but I'm going to show it in my skincare because it is my coconut oil. Um, and I use this one actually in the night time to um, clear off my makeup. So what I do is actually I use, I take, I scrape out like a tiny amount, um, blend it into my hands and then it just goes like liquid and then I use it to remove my makeup. It is so gentle on the skin and it's also really hydrating as well because it is an oil and it just removes the makeup so quickly and afterwards I just use some of my Bioderma uh, face cleanser just to cleanse it all off and everything is gone. Seriously, it is the best and I love it. This is also certified organic, which I really love. It's from Urkamp. You can also use it to do like face masks, hair masks, and you can use it as like body lotion just to hydrate your skin and uh, yeah, as makeup remover as well as I do and to cook. There's just so many various reasons why to love coconut oil. It is just incredible and the smell I love it so much. Moving on to hair, I don't really remember if I talked about this one in my last September favourites. Um, however, I'm going to mention it anyway because it has been a favourite, like for real. Um, this is the Shumura Liquid Fabric with Mineral Texture Spray. Um, love it to give a bit of a texture to the hair. I use it after I've showered and it just... I just use some um, sprays around in my hair, it's like six sprays or something like that, just distribute it all over the hair, brush through my hair and then just kind of like, I don't know, tease it a bit with my fingers and then it looks incredible. I've also used it today and I can definitely see and feel that my hair has got a much more like hold and much more texture and also much more volume than normally because I've actually straightened my hair but it still looks kind of like, I don't know, full and alive it doesn't look that dead as normally so I really like it I think it's so good and when speaking about Shumura hair products the other favorite for my hair is my Shumura Essence Absolute um, Nourishing Protective Oil with Camellia Oil I love it so much as you can see I've actually used quite a lot um, considering that it's a hair oil because I use it both in the morning and in the night to give lots of nourishment to my hair and it works amazingly. I actually prefer this one above my Moroccan Argan oil thing for my hair and any other of my hair oils. This is just incredible and the best and the smell is amazing as well. It doesn't wear my hair down at all, it doesn't look thick or greasy or anything like that. It's just such a lovely oil and it is good for all hair types. No matter if you've got like thick hair or thin hair, it doesn't matter. This one just works. Moving on to makeup. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so weird today. Um, but the first one I want to show you is my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. <sighs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Seriously, it is so, so good. This is in the color Beige 3 and it's the perfect match for me and my skin is the one that I'm wearing today. It is kind of like a your skin only better kind of foundation. It looks so natural, um, you can give like a 
like light to a medium coverage. It is not a high coverage foundation at all. It's very liquid, um, but I still love it for like a really natural finish. And it's got SPF 15 in it, so it also protects you from the sun and. Mwah, I love it and I've used it almost every single day during October. Next is an old love of mine that I've rediscovered, my NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is kind of like a um, set, so don't think about this one, this is Deep Throat, it's not that one I'm talking about. It is that one, that crazy, amazing, stunning, outstanding bronzer. I love it for like a really natural bronzy look. I think it's incredible. I I kind of like forgotten about it because I've tried so many different products lately. Um, but this one is just an old love of mine that I will always return to and love and cherish. And it just it is such an idiot-proof bronzer. Really, you can't really go wrong. Um, it is really like pigmented, but it's not like in a bad way. If you get what I mean, it is still really easy to blend in and make it look natural and bronzy and lovely, seriously one of the best bronzes in the entire world. Next thing is a highlighter from, <laughs> um, from, <laughs> oh my god. Um, what I was trying to say before I almost dropped the product was that I wanted to show you the Mary Luminizer, which is from The Balm. Um, this is a really nice highlighting shade. It is golden, pretty, amazing, and you need the tiniest amount. It is so incredibly, like, uh, pigmented, just look at that. That is incredible, you guys. I love it so much. One of the best highlighters I've ever, ever, ever tried. Next thing I want to share with you is a lipstick that I really love for like an everyday look. As some of you may know, I've been really very, very, very much into like dark lips at the moment. <laughs> I just love that look, but whenever I just wanted a really natural nude look, I've gone for this lipstick, which is my Lime Crime uh, vegan lipstick called Babette. And it's a really nice pinky nude, I think. I think it's so pretty when I swatch it. It is really, really opaque. It's kind of like a creamy finish. It's not like shiny, but it's creamy and lovely to wear. It doesn't dry out on your lips and it stays for such a long time. It is really long wearing. Um, love it to pieces. Think it's gorgeous. A really nice peachy pink nude. And this packaging, Seriously, stars, unicorn, purple, what's not to love? Last makeup y bits, box things, which is not really for the face, but for the fingers or the nails, <laughs> is my Essie um, nail polish in the color Wicked. Um, it's not the one that I'm wearing today, unfortunately, but I have been wearing it a lot, um, and I love it because it's kind of like a deep, burgundy wine red color. It is just incredible because it's not black, but it's kind of black. I love it. <laughs> um, and I love the name as well. I love that it's called Wicked. It's like, it is Wicked. It is a Wicked color. And once again, that was all for this video. And I really enjoyed all of these products this month. They have been incredible. And um, if you like these products and if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. That would be so nice of you guys. And also subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram if you like to because I post a lot of photos in there of my nails, my hair, my face, my everyday life. I'm weird today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had an amazing October. Mine has been incredible. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.